Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Channel Reading and today's reading is about what major changes are coming into your life within the next three months. Okay, so September is almost over, October, November, December, by the end of this year, what major changes are coming into your life that is very, very obvious in your life. Okay, so for this reading, you have three piles. All right, so pile number one, pile number two, Pile number three, choose between these three different graphic images and you can go to the description bar uh, description bar below and uh, click on the timestamps uh, to whichever pile you want to listen to. All right. So pile number one, what major changes are coming into your life within the next three months okay what major changes are coming into your life within the next three months group number one whoever chose file number one what major changes are coming into your life let's find out what major changes are coming into your life group number one spirit guides guardian angels please tell me okay two of wands i have uh, I see that you are coming out of a dark phase. You're coming out of a feeling of loss. Uh, something was not happening. You were not happy with the situations that were going uh, around you. Uh, be it work, be it uh, emotions, relationships. I see that you are moving ahead from this feeling of lack, from this feeling of, uh, you know, not having enough or feeling like something is missing in your life something is not okay you're feeling probably currently you're feeling dull you're feeling low you're feeling energetically in a very low vibration but you are uh, moving ahead okay i see that you have been planning something but things were not moving in the right direction and you were feeling uh, heavy you were feeling sad you were feeling helpless and you were in that mode of cribbing about what is not happening, what is not working out. So in the next three months, the major change that I see is a change in direction, a change in energy around you. All right. Whatever was stuck, whatever was not working for you will start working. You will see movement. OK, there is uh, this energy of uh, stagnancy is not there anymore. There is uh, you will see a fresh ray of hope you will find a fresh new goal to look upon and uh, focus towards. You will have a fresh new focus in your life. So that is something that is that is happening, okay? And you will feel very fulfilled because you will spend time with people who mean to you a lot. You will spend a lot of uh, beautiful time creating memories with your cherished loved ones, all right? Uh, for some, I see that you could be uh, leaving things that no matter serve you, that no matter emotionally fulfill you. And you will make this conscious decision of moving away from things that don't matter to you. And you will take responsibility of up uplifting your mood yourself. You will not rely on someone else to make you feel better okay you will take responsibility of yourself you will be relying on yourself for happiness for joy feeling that uh, uh feeling love around you you will make sure that you do what is required you do what you can do in order to make yourself feel better so i see you are taking things into your hands and that's a very very good change that is coming in your way coming towards you all right group number one and as you do that as you take responsibility to make yourself feel better as you take responsibility to um, do things that are uh, that are that are going to work for you in order to elevate your energy you will be in the right alignment okay and you will be manifesting your wishes much much faster the universe will be answering your wishes much much faster because you will not be in this cribbing mode anymore all right you know you, you understand i hope you understand what i'm trying to say you come out of this cribbing energy and you are aligning yourself to your highest desires your highest manifestations 
by uplifting your energy and how you're doing that is by working on your emotions by working on things that uplift you you are spending time with people who uplift you you're spending time with people who cheer you up and i and you are moving away from people who pull you down all right you are taking the decisions okay you are taking emotional decisions decisions here okay you are not uh, ready to marinate in that energy of loss in that energy of uh, not being happy not being satisfied emotionally you are taking things into your own hands you are deciding for yourself you are being the king of wands okay you are taking charge of your life you are taking charge of your emotions you are taking charge of your life by steering your emotions in the way that you want to feel all right so that is a big big change that is coming into your life group number one okay so any advice for you group number one any specific advice for you here any advice that spirit is sending you group number one page of swords be aware of what you are sharing to others okay keep your goals desires secret okay do not uh give away all your plans you do not uh talk about your manifestations do not talk about your goals keep them a secret okay uh watch what you what you give away to others verbally do not talk about your plans which you haven't yet started working on all right so watch out for what you are sharing be a little secretive of your plans so that is your advice group number one all right so now moving on to group number two let's find out what is it that you have in store what changes what major changes are coming into your life within the next three months group number two what major changes are coming into your life uh group number two okay temperance i see something is coming along uh that took quite a while okay i would not lie this has this has ha this this took a really really long time and something is coming along something is blending into your life and this is divine will this is happening in divine timing this could be a reunion this could be a reconciliation for some this could be uh, a manifestation of a wish that you always wanted and it really took a long time but you didn't lose patience you didn't lose hope so something is coming along the angels are blessing you with a manifestation coming true and this is happening in the month of October for most of you. I see you getting justice. I see you getting what you deserve. This and this together is like screaming out uh, justice for you. Whatever actions you have done in your past is going to give you results very, very soon. Most probably by the end of October. Okay. So a big change that is coming your way is like you are reaping the benefits of what you have done in the past. Uh, the wheel of karma is uh, is moving in your favor and you are being uh, given justice for what you have done in the past. Okay, a lot of cards fell in. Let me shuffle it again. Group number two. What is it about? what is coming along in your life there is a lot of balance okay a change that is coming in your life is about balance what is this balance about this balance is about success this balance is about bringing in a lot of balance in your career and your personal life okay you are balancing your emotions and your career goals you are balancing a lot of things together either you are balancing your personal life and your career life or you're balancing your um your uh your dreams and desires and your professional life your hobbies and your professional life something that you always wanted to do you are balancing that along with a career that you have okay there is a lot of balancing that is coming in your energy and you are doing it very successfully okay so a big change that is coming into your life is about uh balancing two things very very efficiently that is giving you a lot of success i see 
you know a new opportunity coming your way that is going to give you a lot of success this is definitely about a manifestation group number two but this is also about something that is giving you success and i see that you are manifesting uh, some kind of a success in your career this for some it could be a romantic um, manifestation like manifesting a romantic partner in your life which took a really really long time or uh, having successfully uh, completed uh, a phase in your date dating period with someone special or it could be you know stepping ahead in your relationship with someone specific that you have currently in your life or for most of you I see that this is about a career, okay? This is about a, a, a career path that uh, is you are very passionate about, okay? And this is going to give you justice. This is going to give you the success that you always wanted. Probably you have put in a lot of effort since a very, very long time. And within the next three months, I see that the energies are changing for your good, okay? The energies are changing in your favor so that you see success in your chosen career path any advice for you group number two any advice for you any advice for you Oops. you need to be balancing two different sides okay i don't know what you're doing most of you could be balancing a nine to five job and this hobby that you're very passionate about you need to continue doing that you need to be balancing two different things in order to achieve this success. That is very, very crucial. It's all about balance. This balancing is constantly repeating in your cards. So you are asked to keep on balancing uh, your goals, your priorities, your duties, everything. All right, group number two that was for you i hope that was helpful and let's look at you now group number three so group number three what is it that you need to know what major changes are coming into your life group number three what major changes are coming into your life group number three uh next three months what major changes are coming into your life group number three please tell me Okay, a new job opportunity, something new that you are going to value a lot. Something, a new energy is coming into your life as a physical being, okay? Uh, for some, you could be becoming mothers, you could be giving birth to a child. Uh, something new is coming into your life that you need to nurture and care, okay? This could be a new pet too. Uh, for some, it is a new business that you need to nurture, care, because this is in the growing phase, okay? Something is coming into your energy which you need to nurture, care, and why? Because this is going to grow bigger, okay? So you need to, uh, a change that is coming into your life is universe is giving you something uh, that needs your attention, that needs your care, that needs your energy in order to grow and prosper, all right? So this could be a business, a child, a pet, anything. What else do you need to know about this? Group number three. This is going to be a very, very healing time for you. You know, the more you nurture this new energy that is stepping into your life, the more you're nurturing yourself. Okay? It's like as you are watering, as you're nurturing the pool, you are nurturing the grass also. You are nurturing two different things simultaneously, unknowingly, subconsciously. All right? So you are nurturing, as you're nurturing this new entity coming into your life, you are getting healed yourself. That is a very, very beautiful energy. Uh, what else? What else? Group number three. Okay, I see that you could be building something from scratch. Okay, there is some kind of, a, uh, you know, you're working on the growth of something. There is definitely growth uh building something from scratch working on something along with uh probably two or three different people you are uh requiring the help of some two or more people around you in order to nurture this energy that is coming into your life okay 
be aware of any kind of negativity that may haunt you any kind of fear that may pull you down because all this is mental this is not real okay you may have a lot of fears uh, attached to the stability of whatever you're working on you may fear the longevity of whatever you're working on you may fear uh, you know you may have a lot of fears attached to uh, this this thing that you're nurturing or growing or working upon which is natural because you're so involved in it but your advice is to stay away from these negative thoughts because uh, you are in charge of it okay you are uh, you have the potential to do it you are uh, you need to be stable you need to be uh, confident of yourself like the emperor okay you you should not doubt your uh, potential you should not doubt your actions you should not doubt your um, abilities is what i'm trying to say because uh, you are fully capable of doing this okay and i see that uh, you are going to feel a lot of fulfillment a lot of happiness and uh, you know if you can manage this negative thoughts creeping into your mind and surrender to this new energy that you are being uh, introduced to by the universe you will feel a lot of bliss okay do not give into these creepy fears that may uh, you know slyly come into your mind and make you feel uh, like this okay so if you can manage that part you will be absolutely feeling this energy because you need to surrender you need to be uh, having that faith in the universe you need to be having that faith in yourself that you can do it you can manage it all by yourself with the, with the help of two or more people and ask for help whenever you need let people in do not take the uh, you know do not take the pressure all upon yourself because if you do you will uh, you will feel very very drained out and that is not a good energy okay so let me see any specific advice for you group number three any specific advice that is coming in for you group number three what should you do okay you should communicate okay you should not keep things to yourself you should communicate a lot uh, whatever be it uh, you need to keep on moving. You need to keep on going. You need to keep on communicating. Do not delve in this energy of negativity. Do not give in this energy. Give in to this energy of overthinking. Okay, overthinking is going to lead to, you know, the ten of swords energy, and this is not good. All right. So have faith in the universe. Do take charge of your situation. Take charge of your life. And have faith that you have all the abilities to handle what you have been given. So that is it for your reading today, group number three. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in my new reading. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.